Hello everyone, my name is Alnora Borer and I'm a field applications engineer with ST Microelectronics. Today I'll be demoing the STM32U5 Azure Quick Connect package. This package is the fastest way to get your U5 discovery kit up and running with Azure IoT Central and plug and play. And the goal of today's demonstration is to get your board publishing uh, sensor data to a free Azure IoT Central application within a matter of minutes. Let's get started. We've published a knowledge article on the ST community website the link for which is in the video description. And it actually details all the steps and downloads required for today's demonstration. So it's handy to have it open while you follow along. Before we get started, there are several software and hardware prerequisites that we'll have to fulfill that are actually outlined in the article here. If you look under software requirements, you'll see a link for Python 3. Clicking the link will redirect you to a download page for Python where you can download and install the latest version of Python 3 for your operating system. As I already have Python installed on this computer, I won't be going through that process here. But as you navigate through the installation menu, ensure that you include pip in the installation and add Python to path, as both of these will be required later. Next, we'll install PySerial, which is a Python library which adds support for serial communication. If you click the link, you'll see the command pip install PySerial, which can be entered into command line, post your Python and pip install, this will add the library to your Python directory. Last but not least is the SCM32 Azure Quick Connect package. This is a direct link to a zip file that contains all the files necessary for this demonstration today. Clicking on this link will download the file. You can then drag and drop it to your desktop and extract it. In terms of hardware prerequisites, there are two. the U5 Discovery Kit, which can be found at this link, and a micro USB cable, which will look similar to this. After we've completed the install for all the software prerequisites, we can verify their installation here with this snippet of code. If you copy this and open a command prompt window, you can paste the snippet into the window with right click And if your output is similar to the one pictured here, you'll be ready to continue with the rest of the demonstration. Next, we can configure our free Azure IoT Central application. If you scroll down, you'll find a link called Quick Connect Application Template. This link will redirect you to a page where you will be prompted to log in with your Outlook account if you're not already logged into your browser like I am. Then we'll want to choose a unique name for our application. This one will be called Quick Connect. And we'll select the free pricing plan. There's no commitments or prerequisites here. All you need to have is an Outlook account, and you'll be able to connect for seven days with five free devices, no charge. Next, we'll select Create. And we're redirected to our free Azure IoT Central application. Here, we'll just want to add a real device to our central application. To do so, we'll select Devices and click New. For device name, we'll just choose something unique. We'll call this STM32U5. Device ID, we'll make the same. And for device template, we'll choose the BU5 IoT No Discovery Kit. We'll want to make sure that simulated devices is not ticked and we'll click Create. Now you can see your device populated here within all your devices. By clicking the device name, and then selecting Connect, we'll see the device connection parameters used in this demonstration. We'll start off by copying the ID scope and navigating back to the Azure Quick Connect package. If you open the file called config.txt, you'll find a place for you to enter the ID scope here. Next, we'll copy the device ID and paste, and the primary key and paste. 
Now is also a good time to enter your SSID and password for a 2.4 GHz network. And make sure that you save the text document. Now we have to connect our STM32U5 discovery board with the micro USB cable. There are several micro USB ports on board the discovery kit. So if you scroll down in the article, you'll see a picture depicting how it should be connected. With our board connected, we can navigate back to the file explorer with our STM32 quick connect package and copy the path. We'll open a new command prompt window. And type CD and then again paste the path with right click. Now we'll run the script by typing Python and hitting tab to complete until we reach STM32U5 Azure Quick Connect.py. We'll press enter to run and the script will find the port and path for the board. Then collect all the credentials from config.txt and flash a firmware that will allow us to store those credentials on board the U5. Once everything is stored, another firmware will be flashed. This is the main application, which will start running post the flash, and we'll see the printout here. First, we'll connect to our 2.4G network. Then, we'll start to connect to our central application. After we successfully connect, we'll begin to publish telemetry data. Now that we've connected, I've allowed data to publish for a little bit of time off camera. We can navigate back to our central application. And on the device page in overview, you can see a graph of our temperature, relative humidity, and pressure versus time, and then a running average of temperature, relative humidity, and pressure, which may take some time to populate. Also, if we take a look under raw data, we can see timestamp telemetry messages that were published by our board. And also, if we take a look in about, we can see some important information about the U5 board we connected with today. Thank you all for following along with today's presentation. If you have any questions or concerns, please refer to the documentation on either the website or in the package that you downloaded today. Thanks so much.